13,000 teens, mostly black and brown, have been arrested in a single year here in Broward. The county is under enormous pressure to find a solution. News reports show that among Broward foster children, the number of cases involving abuse and neglect are unconscionably high. Something needs to be done, and done quickly. In the late 1990s, Broward County faced critical challenges with juvenile justice and foster care. Addressing these crises, impacting Broward's most vulnerable, our children, challenged us and changed us for the better. I knew that the early intervention and prevention programs that were desperately needed here were, 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 were going to happen. And they, they wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for the Children's Services Council. We just, the, the, there was no way that there would have been a dedicated source of revenue to do this. The County Commission had a, a Children's Services Committee and they had a pot of funding that they provided, but it was really a small amount of money compared to the need and compared to the population of children in need in, in Broward. Nan became the leading advocate to create the Independent Children's Services Council. Debbie Wasserman Schultz was a House member at the time, and they both were like, this is more important than my election. We believe in this so strongly that if this costs us the election, then so be it. Howard Talenfeld was a big proponent. He had been an attorney who had brought suit against the state about foster care. So, I was an attorney, my own law firm, and I'd been involved in representing Florida Department of Health and Rehabilitative Services and all of the class actions that were filed against the state of Florida involving children. There came a point in time uh, when uh, I realized that uh, government had changed, the priorities had changed, and the priorities weren't children. And uh, at that point in time, I resigned from representing the state in these class action cases and made the decision that it was time to, you know, try to help protect kids from the outside. And the solution, the consensus, you know, clearly amongst everybody who attended that summit at the Broward Convention Center was we need a dedicated source of revenue to protect children and keep them out of the system. So the idea was to provide services to build better children, to build stronger families who can produce better children, and to influence a community who can support the families who raise the children. Foster care, teen pregnancy, juvenile crime, they were all things where no matter where you went in the county, they would talk about prevention. Like, it's not enough to fix the, the foster care system or the juvenile justice system. By that point, it's too late. What we really want to do is prevent children from getting pregnant. You want to stop teen pregnancy. You want to strengthen families, prevent them from winding up in these systems in the first place. And that's what Children's Services Councils are all about, is prevention. The Children's Services Council of Broward County was indeed born out of crisis, but was able to thrive by doing something wholly unique, building a transparent, accountable government from the ground up. What began by funding family strengthening programs, many of which were designed to keep kids out of the foster care and juvenile justice system, has grown into the organization you know today, providing leadership, advocacy, database solutions, and funding. We continue to grow and work together to support a diverse provider network dedicated to creating a foundation for success for all Broward children and families.